If I delete a photo from my iPhone, will that photo disappear from my iCloud photo library? Stay with me because the answer may not be quite what you expected. And I'm also going to demonstrate a little trick to help you maximize your iPhone photo storage. Hi there, it's Charmaine and welcome back to Simply Mobile, the channel that helps you to understand your mobile phone in simple terms. Today, I'm going to be looking at iCloud photos for Apple users, and this is a topic that confuses a lot of our customers. Our customers often ask us, is it better to invest into iCloud storage or a third-party storage solution such as Google Photos? Now, if you're interested in my recommendation on this subject, hit that subscribe button now because next week I'm going to be reviewing iCloud and and Google Photos in comparison. Back to the question in hand. If I delete a photo from my iPhone, will it be safely stored in the iCloud? Well, unfortunately, the answer is no. That doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense whatsoever, but yes, the answer is no. If you delete a photo from your phone, effectively, you're permanently deleting that photo from the iCloud also. The iCloud acts as a mirror to all photos and videos stored on your phone. Okay, so now we know that, what do we do when we get that really irritating message come up on our phone saying, your iPhone storage is full, please delete some data. This is a very common problem. It really is. You may be thinking, if I have a 256 gig iPhone, does that mean I can only ever store up to 256 gigs of photos and videos on that phone? But what do I do with the selfies? Well, once again, the answer is no. And I'm gonna show you why. Lean in, pay attention, because not a lot of people know this trick, and you're gonna wanna share it with all of your friends. Let's start with seeing how much we're currently using on our iPhone photo storage. Let's go into settings, we'll scroll down to general, and then we're going to select iPhone storage. Now, here you can see that I have 256 gig of memory on this particular iPhone. Of that, 44.4 gig is currently being used. If I scroll down now, I can see that my photo library is taking up 32.75 gig of that 44.4 gig. My iPhone is recommending that I enable optimized photos. So let's go ahead and select enable. It tells me that full resolution photos and videos are now safely stored in my iCloud and my iPhone will use smaller size versions, essentially thumbnails of the originals. Let's now see what happens to my iPhone storage after I've made the change. As you can see, my photo library, which used to take up 32.75 gig, is now only taking up 9.61 gig of space. And this then means that the 44.4 gig of storage I was using before has shrunk down to 21.5 gig. Next question, what happens when I want to share the photos or videos in their original high resolution? There is a way. Simply go to your iPhotos on your phone, select the videos or photos that you want to share, click the up arrow icon in the bottom left, and then select copy iCloud link. Then I simply paste the link into an email or a text message and I can share my original high quality photos with anybody I choose. If we open the link here, we can now see what the recipient will receive. Whilst this may sort out your immediate storage problems, I still invite you to hit that subscribe button now because next week, like I said, we're going to be reviewing the differences between Google Photos and iCloud Photos. And trust me, there's a lot more to it than just how things are deleted and stored. Meantime, if you're an iPhone user, I recently did a video on the new iOS 14, which is available for download now on your iPhone. So check out that video to see exactly what features are now available to you. And finally, as you're liking this video, head down to the comments below for any other questions that you might have regarding your iPhone or your Android phone. And my fellow opticians Shane and I will endeavor to answer them in our next videos in a tech-free, simple format.